hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is skytech digital now in this video um, i'm going to show you how you can be able to add a donation page to your website so as you can see over here this is just a donation page um, that i am requesting fans to buy a laptop okay so as you can see over here i said what well, the topic is what support kobe to get a new laptop and then you can write a short description over here and then you can you know indicate whatever in picture form whatever thing that you want to support over here and then also um the goal for the donation is also stated over here. so you realize that the amount raised the donations and then also the goal will be what will all be stated over here okay so um it's very simple plugin you can use to what um you know add any donation page to your website so you can um be, be it a personal website or um a company website or even you know an ngo a church any kind of donation that you want to um offer to a website or um, a company you can be able to do that as simple as that using this particular plugin so um let's check through how it works so as you can see over here you can click on donate now over here and then you be redirected to this particular place which um you know you have from 10 to you know even a custom amount that you want to what you want to donate okay so if you want to donate the um you know the total goal amount you can just you know um write it over here but let's say um from 10 to 250 and then um the custom amount you can also what donate so let's say i want to donate ten dollar i can go ahead and then click continue now um there are a lot of integrations that you can do so you can do an offline um donation you can also do paypal or stripe okay but i'm using a test um donation over here now i'll show you how you can be able to do um using the paypal or stripe over there for you to also to, to see so if you have a stripe account or if you have a paypal account you can be able to um, integrate it into this one and then you be if not then you have to use the offline donation whereby you um, will be collecting donation from individuals who um, we'll be paying you offline through check or through anything any medium that you want them to what you want them to pay you okay so you can do so over here so um it's just a simple donation so as you can see if i let me choose the test donation um integration over here and then i will go ahead and then click on donate now now um it will just go ahead and process my uh, payment and then it will say um a great big thank you um Kwabina, blah 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 and then this is what you can your details of the donation over here everything and then you can go ahead and then what share it on your twitter or other social media platform so this is exactly the donation page that we are going to add um by watching this video you'll be able to do exactly what i just did over here so without wasting my time let's get into the video all right guys so this is the website that i'm going to add the donation um you know page over here so to be able to add a donation what we're going to do is we're going to go to the dashboard okay so this is our dashboard over here and then um we will head straight to plugins so i'm going to go straight to plugins over here and then click on add new so you hover on plugins and click on add new over here now we are going to search for a plugin called give okay so just search for give and then you're going to find a plugin called give wp so this is the what give wp plugin donation plugin and fundraising as you can see over here have um it's having over 100,000 plus active installation and it is compatible with our wordpress version over here now as at this time um it is compatible with the version of the wordpress that we are using so they almost at uh, every time updated so what we're going to do is we're going to click on install now over here to install the give um, plugin so just click on install now to install it and then click on activate to activate the plugin now if you have you are doing it for the first time now because i've um, i did it before redoing this video if you are doing it for the first time you're going to go through a setup wizard and all those things okay so um you can go through that process but as you can see um you get a new um you know menu item over here which says donations and that is what we will, we will be looking for okay so donations over here and then what we're going to do is um we will head over to settings so you can go to settings and then you check the settings of the um 
of the git plugin so as you can see um these are all the settings over here we have you know general settings payment um gateways default options emails licenses and then what um advanced and then under each um category you can have different different menus also over there so um these pages will all be you know automatically set up for you you don't need to do anything about it you can choose your base country over here so as you can see i'm from ghana so my country is with ghana and then you can also set up your um, base state or province too over here now we you can go to currency and then set up your own currency now if you go through the setup wizard you will be able to what um you know set all those things up but i'm, I'm not using the setup wizard i'm just using um, the normal settings uh, over here so that you'll be able to uh, see how all these things works now as you can see this is what um this is a currency over here so you'll be able to see you know change the currency to your own currency depending on the your payment gateway um you should be able to make sure that if you're, you're using stripe or you know paypal you should be able to set your payment gateway to um, usd or maybe the pound or euro okay so that reflect to it wouldn't um have any um you know conflict with your payment gateway so i'm using usd and then um you know auto format server currency amount here yeah, i've checked it up currency position and then you know all those um, other settings about currency if everything is okay for you make sure that you click on save changes and then you continue now let's go to the access control over here session lifetime lifetime so um how long would somebody be keep active um it's a week and all those things limit donations display one email address access enabled and then um you can also enable recapture okay on your form if you want it and then um i'm going to go straight to the payment gateways over here okay guys so as you can see um you can enable or disable test mode okay it depends on you but let me just enable um test mode over here okay and then also the test donation you can also what um enable it over here but there are um, two main um you know payment gateways over here we have the um the paypal and then also the stripe as you can see at the top over here we have stripe paypal and then another one is the offline donations that is um basically if you want to collect offline you have a different ways of collecting your money through offline you can also do so over here okay so people fill the form they submit it and then you reach out to them or you give them a notice on how they can be able to donate to you okay you can also do that over here so um all these things can be set up so if you want to enable stripe you just make sure that you take this one and then if you want to make it default also you take um, this one over here. the same thing applies to PayPal. if you want to enable PayPal, both the standard and donations depends on how you want it you take the ones that you want okay and that is it so um you can connect your stripe let me just leave you can connect your stripe using um this particular place over here so as you can see um, accept donations with stripe you can connect it over here if you have stripe account okay um uh, my stripe account is not working so i'm not going to what um, use stripe connect stripe over here but i just want you to show you how you can be able to do all those things so you can just click over here to connect your stripe using your stripe account and then also paypal also you can be able to connect your paypal if you have a paypal account over here okay so as you can see i've already connected my paypal over here because i um I connected the PayPal account bef before and then, you know, uninstall this plugin. And then I wanted to show you how this whole plugin really works. Okay. So you can either disconnect or connect it. Okay. But I'm not going to use PayPal to collect, um, you know, any donations over. I'm just going to use the test and then offline to be able to show you how all those things uh, works. Okay. So you can also do so. Now let's go straight away. Now that we see the payment gateway and the general settings, all these other things are not really um of much important to me what really is important to me is how to get the form and how to add a form okay so as you can see over here these are all forms if you want to um see where all your forms are you see all your forms over here okay so these are all the forms that you see now i want to add a new form so i can decide to go ahead and then click on add new add form over here to add a new form so um i can just you know go ahead and say that um support kobe okay so let me just make it support kobe this way 
and then i can choose a form that i want to use so as you can see we have multi uh, multi-step form over here okay and then we also have the classic form and then we have the legacy form so each other way um, each other form that you want to use you can decide to go ahead and then use it so i'm going to use the multi-form okay so because i like this form so i'm going to click on activate over here and then um, once it is activated as you can see multi-step form activated now i can choose my primary color over here so i'm going to choose a primary color which is um, let's say this particular move color over here or you know pink or whatever color over here so um the primary font also you can decide to either use uh, uses system font or Montserrat, which is the google font i'm going to just put it at where it is and then um the decimal amount if you want decimal amount also you can either enable or disable and then step one which is the introduction so um support the course so support um you know support maybe kobe okay so support kobe okay and then um support kobe to let's say get a uh, laptop okay so just like, like this one and then help our organization by donating today um you can decide to you know rewrite your own um you know um statement or description of it so support or help copy um by donation or donating to get a new laptop okay so uh, help copy by donating to um you know to get a new laptop so uh help copy by donating to help copy get a new laptop okay so so that is basically that is it so that is um it and then you can add you know an image over here so if you have any image you can decide to go ahead uh, add the image now i have the image over here i can decide to what add this particular image over here okay so basically any image that you want to add you can add it so i'm going to choose this image and then um you know the button um you can decide to choose write anything that you want to write over here. but i'm going to leave everything as default as you can see over here and then i'll go straight ahead and go to donations okay donation options over here so over here um we've selected what multi-level donation over here we have um you know custom amount also enabled you can also decide to disable it and then donation limit the minimum amount is five the maximum amount is blah 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 over here okay and then um custom amount text you can you know just write anything over here so um i can say maybe donate what you like okay so um donate what you want okay so donate what you want and then you know the amount level you can decide to even change it from five to um, any amount that you want but i'm just going to leave it as it is over here okay so now that i have this one done um let's see we can also go straight to what the um i'm not going to go to form fields because it's of no importance to me i'm going to go to um donation goal okay so i want to enable the goal and then i want to set the goal to um 2500 okay so 2500 over here and then you know close form so i'll disable the close form over here and then um i think that is it so all these things are really not of no use to me so you know offline and all those things i don't really want to go about it now over here you can go ahead and then set a featured image if you want to okay so let's say i want to set a featured image over here i can go ahead and set this same thing as a featured image okay over here and then um i'm gonna go ahead and click on publish to publish the donation form now as you can see guys it has been what it has been um it has been published okay so we can go ahead and view the form over here. so as you can see this is the permalink or the link to the form okay so we can go ahead and then open it a new tab and then view the um you know the form so guys this is how it looks like okay so as you can see um help copy by donating to help copy get a new laptop it's funny though but then it's okay for me okay so that is basically it so um we can go ahead and then you know click on donate over here and as you can see um the amount that we want it says what well, donate what you want okay so over here you can go over here and then you know just um enter your what custom amount over here okay but i'm going to choose um 10 over here and click on 
donate over here now as you can see we have two different payment over here um, um payment integration over here. we have the offline and then we have the test donation over here so you can choose between now if there is paypal and other stuff it will also be what also be over here now let's go and then change the um since i've already connected paypal let's go and change it and see how the paypal also looks like so i'm going to go over here i'm going to go to the back end over here and then go to settings and then change um to paypal and see how it works um if you have paypal if you want to connect it you know how it's going to be like and how it's going to work it's going to work so let's say i'm i'm going to um change it from test to you know paypal okay so i'm going to go to paypal donations and then i'll make this one rather default okay and then i'll unlink this one and that is it i'm going to what click save over here and i'm going to go back over here and then refresh this one now let me just go through it so i'm going to click on donate over here um, choose an amount and click on donate and as you can see this is what this is how the paper looks like okay so um you can be able to what you can be able to just use your debit or credit card over here to to accept um you know payment okay so as you can see you can go ahead and you know just choose whatever you want to choose enter your billing details and other stuff over here okay and then go ahead and then what pay using paypal over here so as simple as that okay so guys this is how you can be able to add a donation to your um, website any kind of website be it a church website um uh, um how do you call it um you know personal website an ngo website any kind of website that you want to you want to you want a donation you want to collect donations on you can be able to you can even use this plugin to set up a whole donation website okay and that is it so you can go ahead and click on donate over here and then it will what it will go through the donation process and other stuff will go through and then will say what um a great big thank you blah 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 you can share your details um your donation details on your social media just to let people know that you thought you've also help somebody to achieve something okay so um i hope this video really helps you if you really helps you please like the video and share the video and then also don't forget to subscribe to the channel um let's go ahead and then you know reach a maximum number of people that we want to reach using this channel okay so see you in the next video bye bye